Hey everybody, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to check out Michael Jackson's Moonwalker Texas Ranger for the Sega Genesis. I've always heard about this game, and I've not played it till now. And I don't know the storyline or the plot or anything. I just know that you play as Michael Jackson and you go around dancing or something. I don't know. But we're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out what this game is all about. Hopefully it's much better than Action 52. Let's see here. Well, that's pretty cool. They got Michael Jackson's soundtrack on here. That's pretty good. What the heck are you doing? Are you throwing fairy dust or something at the... And you rescue kids. What the heck? That little girl... Uh, went away on a star or something. Carrying her off. Anyway... Hey, you got prostitutes now in this game? <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> it's kind of corny, but pretty cool. I guess dancing kills your your opponents, your enemies in this game. Who made this game? Was it Sega or... Usually they get the credits on the bottom of who made the game, what year it came out. Oh wait, I think they're going to show it here in a minute. Okay. Developed by Sega, okay. Video game audio, oh, well, I couldn't read all of it. Select your character. Michael, 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 or Michael. No, uh. <laughs> cool. Despite what you think about Michael Jackson today, you gotta admit he has awesome songs from back then. Alright, Michael Jackson meets Street Your Age. This game looks pretty fun so far, not bad. Oh, whoa, he just did Kung Lao's finisher move. You could use some of Michael Jackson's music for the title screen instead of this. What is this? Come on. Newgrounds or someone on YouTube should do a parody of this. Call it Michael Jackson's Moonwalker Texas Ranger. You got Chuck Norris versus Michael Jackson and <laughs> that's kind of tight though. You gotta admit. But um, as I was saying, you know, maybe my Chuck Norris versus Michael Jackson and Michael Jackson beats him by dancing. Be kind of weird, but stupid funny. Okay, what is this now? Stage three. Uh oh, more dancing. Okay, why don't they play Michael Jackson's Thriller music right here? I have this kind of bunk. Use use the Thriller music. But anyway, the heck? What oh, what was that? Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the game here. Let me check out the options real quick. I'm going to put on easy since this is my first time playing the game. Okay. Well, since I'm playing by myself, let's do one player. What the heck? This is Back to the Future. Club 30. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, that sound effect sound like Sonic the Hedgehog was collecting rings or something, but I won't, that wouldn't be surprising since this is a game made by Sega, I believe, and, um, you know, maybe they use some of the sp uh, sound sprites or sound effects, whatever, from the Sonic series, but anyway, I apologize for the way this, what the heck, whoa, okay, I guess up is to open the windows and the doors, okay. Okay, I guess the objective of this level is to to rescue all the girls kidnapped. As I was saying, I'm sorry for the weird shadow effect on the screen right here. That is not part of the game. That is something uh, with my computer or Cam Studio or or the Gen Simulator. I, I apologize for that. How you moon? How you moonwalk? Shut up! I said shut up. 
Whoa, hey, what the? Is that Michael Jackson's monkey? What the? Ha ha, you'll never catch me. Who the heck was that? Okay. How did I do that dance that the demo screen did? Uh oh, here we go. Fatality. Okay, not bad so far. This is much better than Action 52. <laughs> Does he do that in every single uh, screen before he goes to the next level? Okay. What I do now? I guess I do the same thing. This game's kind of weird, but it's kind of fun so far. This game's pretty stupid. This game's pretty stupid. Dun, dun, dun. No, uh, not so far it's alright. It's not bad. Kind of fun. Get out of my face, you whore. Okay, um, move! Dang, little girl messed me up. This stage looks like uh, the bar in Street of Rage 2. Okay, pinball machines, I guess. Watch it. Man. Yeah, that's when that guy, those guys fell over. That sound effect sound like uh, a sound effect used in Sonic One, where you're in, you're in the labyrinth zone and uh, those doors open so you can go through the water tunnel or whatever. Anyway, man, I, I noticed some miscellaneous things. I don't know why. I'm just very detailed when it comes to video games. I guess a lot of us gamers are. The slightest detail that I don't like could bother me, make me not like a game, or maybe think less of a game. Anyway. I don't know what the deal is with that fairy dust, whatever the heck it's supposed to be. This game's kind of fun. It gets you into it a little gets me into it a little bit. What the uh, Michael Jackson's monkey. What's it? Okay, I guess it's pointing where I should go. Go up up the stairs, you idiot. Okay, I apologize for the game skipping. This Genesis emulator's been behaving not for a while. I don't know what its problem is lately. Now you again. Yeah, I can. See, I just touched you. I caught you. Man, cheated. Okay. More Dick Tracy's now. Come on now. Michael. Michael. Shut up, man. Come on. Alright, street your rage tables. Come on, yeah, there you go. See, if I didn't see the demo screen, I probably wouldn't know what to do right there. That's why I always watch the demo screen before I play a game. Tell you what, so far this game is much better than Action 52 and Barbie. Much better than Barbie. Ah, oh, forget it. Um. All right. Oh, that was tight. Ha! <laughs> Key the chair. All right. All right now. All right then. Not bad so far. I'm about to go ahead and quit playing right here. Uh, good first impression so far. I kind of look forward to playing this game some more and see how, seeing how far I can get. Alright, that is it. Uh, good, good first impression so far for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.